My name is uh, Vanisha Davis. I come from Signs Now in Erie. Uh, we're a small company. Um, we do a lot of like car vehicle wraps and stuff like that for the experience and my boss wanted me to come along so that way I can pick up new tips and tricks and stuff if there's like any tools or any other like materials that we can use for the wrapping and make it easier also to get some questions answered um, because there's like some stuff that I don't know and it's a little hard for me to do with the experience I have I guess I actually wasn't interested in it because I didn't know that would have been a possibility for me. I went to school for graphic design. I wouldn't imagine I would be doing rapping, but now I am, so here we are. <laughs> I'm just doing it, you know? I'm just here. I don't think I've done a full rap. I have done partials. I mean, I know how to like put vinyls on. That's why I'm here, so that way I can get like more experience, but that's all I know about rapping. <laughs> I'm excited to learn the wrapping process from like professionals. I'm hoping to like learn how to get wrinkles out easier. Hoping to learn about more tools that we can use and how most of the tools function in a wrapping. I'm kind of excited about knowing what materials go best with wrapping. I'm excited to learn actually. Okay, this little choppy choppy, noy noy. I learned about the knifeless cutting. I was struggling with that real bad, even, and he did it so effortlessly. So I was like, oh, okay, that was it. So spool it out. I think okay. I pretty much learned everything that I wanted to learn, getting around corners and stuff, and getting out wrinkles and stuff like that. I learned a lot from this class. I kind of, I enjoyed like watching him do it the most. And I also enjoyed like the hands-on so I can do it myself of experience, because that's how I learn. I also learn by watching, but I learn better while I'm putting my hands onto it. The heat gun, um, not to use it a lot. You don't have to use it a lot, because you can stretch it pretty well without it. And then like going to the hardest spots first instead of the easy spots, because I was doing it the opposite way. So that was pretty interesting, where he just tackled the hard spot and everything else was easy. Uh, knife was cutting. I think I'll use that a lot, because we do use that quite a bit. And I think I, I can use that a lot more with upcoming projects. Uh, the stretching around with the fender, we don't do a lot of full wrap vehicles, but the techniques that he used, I can use it with a lot of partial wraps and stuff like that. Yes, he was a very good teacher and he explained it really well. And usually it takes a while for me to pick up on something, but he explained it to the point where like, I'll probably forget or something like that. But like, once I remember that one point he said, I can remember everything else. So yeah, he taught it very well. It was very detailed and stuff like that. Yeah, I'd say about 50-50, it was like hands-on. So, but that's pretty good because obviously he has to show us first before we can actually do it. But yeah, everything was timed perfectly. Um, I didn't think I had to rush or anything like that, so. Yes, it did, because uh, the fender, I was like kind of dreading on doing because I, I'm not very good at that, like wrapping and stuff. I get wrinkles and junk like that. Yeah, I like how everybody's like so eager to earn and nobody's afraid to ask questions and stuff and nobody's like just here just to like watch and stuff they're here to learn so I kind of like that because usually in some classroom settings people just go they they're already ready to leave and stuff but like with this group everybody's like boom boom pow we want to get this done we want to like learn we want to like get in there I'm like I like that because I want to learn too I want to like get in there too so yeah they're a pretty good group all right you guys are free to wing it oh. Okay. <laughs>